Hello and welcome to the show. Uh, we start this week's Faraday's episode with Train Guy on GTA 5 racing the Endeavour State very quickly through a petrol station when things go wrong for the cars ahead. Well, four vehicles into this narrow bit doesn't work. It does work for launching someone to space and the, well, it turns out the Endeavour State can also be a scoop. It's it's quite useful as, as a scoop and as a ramp. Didn't realise, I mean, it is the right shape, but didn't realise just quite how good it was for launching other vehicles around. Uh, Sexton up next on GTA 5. Now this is during the single player mission where Michael has to try and chase down his boat, which goes wrong. Uh, it turns out, car versus, well, water barrels, uh, but barrels win. They managed to uh, wedge the vehicle to the point where it can't drive. It does finally get some traction, but the boat is long gone. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> of all the ways to fail that mission, that is not the one that normally happens, that's for sure. Uh, Sir so rounded up next on a GTA 4 has found the Sultan spawn location. I remember it after many years. Uh, yeah, and uh, there's a traffic jam. Okay, well, traffic jams occasionally happen in GTA games. Uh, the thing is, an ambulance doesn't know what to do. It really doesn't know what to do. And I don't know where the ambulance is heading to, but it's got to this point where well, wherever the pedestrian crossing is, it just it can't seem to cross it for whatever the game's just decided that it can't cross that section. Some AIs have freaked out and running around as well because of the weirdness that is going on. But the, the ambulance has backed up and kind of fiddled around. It's now pointing the way it's supposed to go and then stopped and then contemplates running some people over and now knocked over a lamppost. Uh, I mean, there's still an awful lot of traffic going on that's probably not helping it with its trying to pathfind its way through all of this. Again, more pedestrians running around. I thought they were about to go and, like, spear the car, but no, it's just a... I don't actually know, like a gardener, maybe? I don't know, they've run off with whatever it is. Still, the ambulance... I mean, the Fowl Race ambulance crew are not are not that spectacular. The police department and the fire department have, have caused much more trouble, but this one just... It's going backwards and forwards. It doesn't know where it's going at all. Uh, just a simple player up next on Battlefield 5 has spotted a vehicle that they want to go and use. The problem is the vehicle is a portal to another dimension and not a particularly nice one. No, this uh, is not helping matters. We're going to go with that. It is just kind of freaking around and spinning about. The thing is, uh, while the map is freaking out and the screen is freaking out and everything is all manners of wrong, it isn't actually moving anywhere. So the player can jump in and out of the car, uh, and it's still, to everybody else, where it should be, which leads to them getting shot. Uh, so... Maybe it was a trap. I don't. Who knows? Uh, Mr. Winklebottom up next on WRC Nine is with a particular podium celebration. I mean, that is you've gone through 20 minutes, 18 minutes of rally, and you managed to fall off the podium. It does sound like a very fail racy thing to have managed to do. So well done on that front. But uh, the, the car's not supposed to be over there. I can tell you that much. Uh, Snake up next on Dirt Five at the start of a race with everybody barreling towards Turn One. Now let's face it, Turn One in any race can get a little bit funky. But when a bunch of trucks come together, physics has had an issue. Uh, unfortunately, the game is quick to reset vehicles, so we don't really see the end of it. Most stayed on their wheels, but just kind of big physics ball at Turn One, and uh, nobody really won. Uh, Red up next on Farming Sim is, uh, let's face it, trying to create a physics ball. We've all played Snake or something similar. Uh, and this is a truck with far too many trailers uh, encircling a Mustang, I think it was, in the middle of all of that. Now, I know what you're expecting. I know what I'm expecting. As everything comes together, we expect it to all go horrifically wrong. And it doesn't. Which seems wrong to me. I mean, Farming Simulator is notorious for glitchy physics. Surely it can't survive all of this. Uh, well, you'll be pleased to know it doesn't. After a lot of shuffling about and trying to unhook it, it is eventually, just as it was about to kind of completely unhook, that's when the big physics ball happens. Part of the trailer disconnects, it lands on the midsection of the trailer, and then it's all... All very, very unhappy. Two bits are uh, glitching off into the distance. I don't know what the green light is going on either. That looks weird, but let's not uh, worry about that too much. The uh, truck, the trailers are still kind of pinging about into the distance. The trailer at the end of this is still going on and is still quite unhappy. And as it continues to get unhappy, it rolls the truck over. And now it's actually starting to affect the vehicle. Two more bits have pinged into the vehicle. They're just gone. We now shorten this out, and there goes the physics ball. It took a while. It took a while for the full physics ball effect to occur, but it has occurred now. We're up to 800,000 something miles an hour uh, going on. Yeah, I think about 1,400, 1,500 miles an hour were, fit, were hit in all of that. Not a record. Forza 4, we still have 5,000 miles an hour as the fastest speed obtained, but there we go. Flight Sims up next on iRacing, an appropriate name for the 
open wheel car, I'm not sure what it is, Formula Renault or something. Uh, Alton Park, heading down towards the hairpin, everything seems fairly normal, it's just like a test session, there's not many vehicles around, the car runs just a little bit wide, that's all it takes, sometimes physics has had enough of your shenanigans and will decide to flip the vehicle. I guess the wing got caught in the floor, or it just spat the car backwards, but nope, no Alton Park for you. Uh, nice Groundhog is up next on a set of Corsa. Now this is following a bunch of AI cars racing the unbelievably fast Red Bull prototype thing. It's very, very uh, stupidly, ridiculously quick, this car. And the AI had been racing them fairly well, until they just kind of forgot. As you can see, we're going around with Jello here, everything is fine. They're all driving normally, nothing... I mean, it looks like it's sped up, it's just the cars are ridiculous. But as you come up towards the final corner, uh, no one's turned enough. And that's all of the top four into the wall, there's a big pile up, many cars are going fly, it's about the top ten are into the wall, some more are hitting, and then the rest carry on fine. Well, three anyway, carried on fine. I don't know quite why at that moment in time they just all decided let's go and visit the tyre bundle, but they did, and, uh, well, yeah, everyone had a big wreck. And finally we go on to the long drive, with, uh, well, one poor sod has uh, got some problems because that is not what you want stuck in your car. I don't know whether it spawned underneath it, whether they ran over it, whether it hit the side of them without them realising. I didn't really see any rabbit and it was driving okay to start with, but, uh, Yes, the rabbit is stuck in the vehicle, it's not having a good time at all. Physics is very, very angry with all of this. It does eventually spit the vehicle out to a halt, and then we end with a horrifying sight. Uh, yeah, that is the frame that the video ends on, basically. Uh, it's quite, yeah, not what you really wanted to see. I don't know how you get that out of your car. You might just have to drive with it through the apocalypse. Or swap cars. I would vote for swap cars, to be honest with you, but... There we go. That is going to be it for this episode. As ever, if you have clips like to submit to this series, you can via a Google form. There'll be a link to it in the description. All the rules and how it works can be found on there. That, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye.